Alright, and welcome to a Minecraft server tutorial. Don't know why that's open. But uh, I'm going to be showing you today how to set up a server and or server mods, depending on what you want. The server mods isn't what you think. It's, uh, it's just a little different. First off, to get a regular server, just go to minecraft.net, go from the home page, click on download. Go to Minecraft Alpha Server Software for Windows, get the EXE for Minecraft Server.jar for anything else. I'm on Windows, so I'm going to get the server. Save the file. I did this ahead of time, I set everything up. Then uh, get the server, put it somewhere where you're not going to lose it. And uh, th this is where it branches off. I'm going to start for offline only. For offline, just start up the server. Um, and it should do something like this. You can always ask. It's probably good. And depending on your firewall, fail to load, fail to load, fail to load. Gener it's generating everything from scratch. So once it says done, go to the command and hit stop. That'll stop the server gracefully letting it shut itself down. If you hit the X, it'll just blow up in your face. Now, start it again, hit run, and it should work fine. So uh, that's all you have to do if you're going to run it offline. No, I don't want to run in sandbox. <laughs> and uh, always try and use stop, stop command, because it lets it save everything. So it stops it from, like, crashing and all that. But uh, from here, if you want to go online, go to a new window. Type in 192.168.1.1 if you have a wireless router. If you have a server yourself, it's 0.1. And uh, go, it, depending on your server, or your, your server, the router you have, find something along the lines of applications and gaming and port forwarding. And uh, you want to port forward port number 25565, but for both internal and external. I did that backwards. For protocol, you don't want, you want both. Then you, then you for IP address, you want to type in the IP address of the computer you're going to run it on. And to find that, go to the start and search. You could just type in command. It's harder for me to find it on this. Then type in IP config, just like that. Hit enter. Get your IPv4 address. And uh, see, that's the address you're going to want to put in here 103, 103. So close that out. From here, save your settings. Settings save. And um, let's see, go back, open up your server properties in Notepad or something like that. Make sure this port is still on 25565. Type in your server IP. Okay, I could not remember. Make sure online mode is true. Monsters can be on or off. You can't damage them currently. And the other stuff doesn't matter. Save it, close it down, and start the server. Now, it should say something like this. If it says, failed to find the port, you screwed up one of the steps, go back and review. Now, most firewalls will block, depending on your firewall, it may block incoming attempts, so you have to configure your firewall based on what you have. It You can easily go into a Windows firewall and allow port forward through that, so people can come in through that port. But uh, my firewall, I don't know how to do that, so yeah. Uh, that. That IP address will only work for your local network, meaning it has nothing to do with any other computer except in your house on that router. So uh, let's see, stop this. Now, from there, if you want to go further, you can get a server mod, which basically allows you for this one would be make kits, make warps. It has huge lists of things you can do. You can change the time, you can change a lot of things. And uh, it's quite useful, and you just download that. I'll do it just for the sake of this. I wish I could pick where I wanted to save it, but I can't. Uh, save the file. It's going to save, and most files you just, uh, you're just you going to have to go into a window, Internet Explorer, hold your Windows key on your keyboard, and hit E, and it'll open one up. You could do that, or you could just have one open, like I always do. Go to where it's saved, which is in my downloads. Find the one. Ah, uh, um, 116, alright. If it's zipped, right-click, hit Extract All, 
and extract it to somewhere where you're going to be able to find it. Um, where's my... I had one set up right here. Okay. And then extract it. It shouldn't take too long. Those some of them are pretty tiny. That's what she said. <laughs> and then find that. I'm very good at losing stuff if you haven't found that out yet. Then open the bin. If depending, This is for Hey Zero server only. I don't know about other ones. And you're going to have to basically do the same thing with this server though. And uh, it'll fail the first time. And then close on your face because you're gay. The first time for these servers is always the hardest. Open the server properties and do the exact same thing. But this one has a lot more options. Type in the same IP address. And just go down the list if you like what you want. Server ports, same. Logging's off, which means you don't have to be like a verified account. Kits, text location, like... And then you can go from there and you can choose how often it saves. Make sure the port's still 2556.5. Excuse me for a second. Alright, and then you can save. Close that out. And from here you have all these different ones that are new. For kits, you can go in here and say... You can type in the name of a kit. I'll just put diamond tools, for example. Make sure there's no spaces in any of these. A colon. The, the 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 thing is right here the uh, whatever it's called the templates right there so you can always look at that too and then just type in 277 comma 278 279 that kind of thing then you have to put in how how often can you do that and if you don't want any just put zero you can save that and just close it and um, there is no warps list for picks right now because you haven't made any you have to make those in game. And uh, pretty much, and then you want to go to a, uh, hmm, user's text. Then you want to put in the name of your person, colon, group. Just put, if you want to be an admin, just put admins for there. It doesn't matter, like, there's no groups, you could say. And then you're going to want to put two for admin. Unrestricted, you can do anything. Spawn anything, boot anybody, ban IPs. Um... If you want no restrictions and you can give out items to, to one and admin has all these powers plus banning and booting and all that If you don't want the person to be able to build you hit negative one That's for like uh, what's it called? Griefers you could say if you want to put it, your IP address out there, which isn't exactly safe But I mean most people do these online If you if you put it out there on like Minecraft, it's not exactly safe and you could get hacked like someone tunneling in and putting uh, viruses on your computer. Board of warning right now. And then after that, you uh, can put a number for a color. I think one is blue, two is green. And then that's pretty much it. And you just save that and close it. I'm using keyboard shortcuts, Control S, Alt F4 to close and save stuff. That's why you don't see it. And you just use the mod jar. I don't know how to get the bat to work. I it always fails. And you can use any one of these three. I just use that one, and it should see load up fine. The only problem with the Heo Hey Zero server is that it never has enough RAM. I have four, four gigs of RAM, or not four, whatevers, and uh, so you're probably gonna need a lot to run it super efficiently. But uh, that's it. That's pretty much it. I'll see you guys next time.